Hello and welcome to Mastering Microsoft Excel 2013. My name is Jason with MathTutorDVD.com. I'm going to be your host as we learn all of the ins and outs of how to use Microsoft Excel proficiently and with confidence. And so what we're using in this course is the 2013 version of Excel, but if you've recently used the 2010 version of Excel, then almost everything we're going to learn in this class will be directly applicable. Uh, because these two versions of the software, at least the menu structure, looks very similar. If you're coming from a background where you've used Excel maybe five or six years ago, then the uh, the menu structure looks quite a bit different. And so, you know, Microsoft did quite a bit of a of a user interface overhaul a couple of years ago. And so, whether or not you're very new to Excel, or if you're coming from a background where you've used Excel five, six, seven years ago, and you want to learn the new interface, this uh, course is for you. We're going to assume that you know absolutely nothing about Excel and we'll build your skills up along the way. Now the reason I'm teaching a class in Microsoft Excel is because it really is the most used math software program ever created. Um, when you look at how many people use Microsoft Excel and what they use it for, it really is the most used uh, math software program. Mathematicians use it, scientists use it, engineers use it, business people, finance people, economics people, political science people. There's many, many uses for Excel. And I think one picture uh, will be worth a thousand words to show you one of the very easy things you can do with Excel that, that uh, makes it so useful by so many people. So let me click on sheet two down here. And you can see that I've created a very simple chart. And so here's my raw data up here, January through August, with the sales volume of some business, let's say, that uh, that you're working with in your job or whatever. And so you have the sales volume. And you can create this little bar chart here. This is just a simple example to show you um, really how simple it is to work with Excel because everything on this page really only took about two minutes to create. It actually took longer to type in the numbers here than it did to create this uh, bar graph down here. And so whether you're working in an office environment or you're a student or you own your own business or whatever, um, Excel is, is basically a charting program or a table program to, to, to work with numerical values, but you can use the power of Excel to create very powerful visualizations very, very quickly. And that's just one use for Excel, but it is... Uh, very easy to do. Other things you might be doing with Excel is balancing uh, accounting books for a business or even your personal checkbook. You could create a worksheet here where we track all of our expenses in and out. Uh, and, and the power of it is you can do calculations with those uh, with those uh, numbers there. And we'll be getting to that later, but I can go figure out what's the average value of all of these sales. I could figure out what's the average of the January through August uh, sales. And I can do that with a quick uh, click and, and just a very, very quick amount of time figure out what the average value is without pulling out a calculator. We already talked about the charts and graphs, but just keep in mind that this is a bar graph, but there are dozens of types of graphs you can create in Excel from pie charts to XY line graphs. Uh, pretty much anything you can visualize with, a, with regard to a chart, Excel can pretty much do it. Uh, you can also create very, very professional looking tables and reports. I might create an annual report for a business with uh, charts and tables embedded in the report. And Excel would be the ideal place to do that because I can type in text. I can format it. You can see the font and the bold and everything up here we'll get to later. I can make this, this look very beautiful as far as printing it out. And I can have charts and tables embedded inside. All right. And so... Fundamentally, Excel is a numbers program. It is a program where I can either import data from a file as far as numbers. Maybe I have sales data in terms of a file that you know my website has or something. I can pull that in or I can type in information and I can perform quick visualizations with charts and graphs. I can also do calculations. There are thousands and thousands of mathematical calculations I can do on this data very, very easily. So that in a five minute nutshell is basically what Microsoft Excel is for. It's used to pull in data, manipulate data, calculate with data, and, and, and create very powerful, quick and easy uh, charts and graphs there. And so as we go through the course, we're going to assume again that you absolutely don't know anything about it. And we'll just take you through step by step so that the anxiety of looking at this complicated looking interface goes away. You'll understand how it's laid out. 
you'll understand where to go to get what you need and you'll understand practically how to use it so whether you're a student in school using it for homework whether you are in a professional environment balancing the books for a million dollar company whether you're doing something in between Microsoft Excel really has the power to handle any situation that you might throw at it